Okay, in 2014, I lost 40,000 US dollar is a grant, and um, you know, I didn't know a lot then, and it was just like an opportunity that just fizzled out, and I couldn't do much about it just because of the things that I'm going to share with you today. That I don't want you to lose grant like I did, you know, in 2016. After learning a lot of this through a mentor, I the first grant I won was five thousand US dollar, and to date I've won quite a lot of grants like that. So today I will be sharing you tips that can help you to start and win a to, to start a business and win a grant through it. Key things you need to know on starting a business that can win a grant. The first one is you need to define your idea. Idea rules the world. Your idea is one of the major reasons why you will win a grant or you lose a grant. They are looking for ideas that solve real problems. Idea that can transform an industry so from that idea you'll be able to identify your products and your services so you need to really sit down and ask yourself the business that i want to use to apply for this grant what is the major idea the, the uniqueness of this idea is it the same thing everybody has been doing or something different the next one is that you need to do a market research for your business you need to research the industry what are the pain points what are the key problems that your idea is solving you need to recite this problem in such a way that you have all the facts and figures all the information that you can use to project when you are applying for any grants most of the time when you are applying for grants they will ask you what's the problem that the, the your business is going to solve so if you don't have information to buttress the enormity of that problem then they will know that you don't know what you are actually looking at so market research to research your problem is a major factor when you are building a business that can win a grant the third one is that you need to create a business plan a business plan is like a roadmap for your business it's a document that guides you that shows you so many things about the business so most of the grants application they are structured in such a way that you can have if you have a structured business plan put together for your business, it will be easier for you to apply for those grants. You know, a business plan will start from the executive summary and uh, introducing the business. Uh, if it's an existing business, you talk about the history, then you talk about the product and services, the market, your competition, your uniqueness in doing the business then you talk about your financials very important your team and every other aspect of a standard business plan so as you are planning to apply for the next grant as you are building your business have a standard business plan for it and one of the things you need to know is that if you cannot write one yourself which we advise you to do you can actually reach out to consultant like us to write a standard business plan for you and once you have it you have it and you will be able to use this business plan to win grants and all that the next one is that you must register your business with corporate affairs commission uh, cac registration is an important aspect of your business if you don't have money to register now save towards it because it is one of the documents that will be needed for you to win a grant. So I have seen people lost grants just because their business are not registered. 
so you don't want to be in that situation so you can also reach out to us to to help you to register your business with csa this will really help you is a starting point if you really really want to win a grant choose a business structure a business structure is a structure of your business that has to do with ownership are you going to register a sole proprietorship are you going to register as a limited liability company are you going to register as partnership your idea and your business is it going to be like an ngo if it's going to be like an ngo a non-profit organization then you have to register it as an ngo now all these options they have their pros and cons if you are just starting and you have a friend that you are starting together then registering as a partnership will be best for you but if you have a good startup capital then you can register as a limited liability company but if you are the only one starting the business then sole proprietorship is a good one for you from there as the business grows bigger you can now upgrade your status to a limited liability company all these are very good when you are applying for grants and having those documents shows that you are serious with your business the next one is that you set up your finance that means you need to separate your personal finance from your corporate finance if you have your registration documents you can approach any bank of your choice and go and register and open an account a bank account for the business this is very important because when they are assessing you through due diligence to receive a grant they will actually ask you to supply uh, maybe your bank statement or your business account you don't want to get to a situation in which they love your idea and they say send your business account and you are sending personal account you must be able to separate between your business and your personal account when you do this it makes your business serious and after a while there are some requirements that will ask you to submit audited financial statement and this is very good when you already have your corporate account running some people do business and they don't pass their money through their corporate account this is very wrong because it's not going to help you when you are assessing grants when you want to target grants your financial statement must be good your bank must be up and running you must pass through all your sales must pass through your bank account that's the best recording the grant organization can trust so with this if you don't some people they are already set up the their financial system but the only thing they do is that they don't still take the money through their bank accounts all right they have their corporate account but it's not active so you are listening to me i want you to ensure that your business is active number seven build your team as you start a business that can assess grants opportunity you need to begin to identify talents that can work with you in building your business you cannot do it alone so you need to begin to look at how to recruit how to delegate your your job is to train people that are joining you share the vision with them tell them where the business will be going in the next few years your mission and your vision statement you share that with your team member and your team member you must have people that, that are business minded you must have people that knows the operational core of your business you must have people that understands financial and accounting because when you are applying for grants and they ask you to talk about your team they actually want to see what are the skills and experience that these people have that will be valuable for your business in such a way that if they give you this particular grant 
you will be able to use it well with the right set of team. The next one is that you develop a brand and build a marketing strategy. When you are developing a brand, it starts from the visual representation of your business, from your logo, your colors, and things like that. So you want to ensure that all this, uh, you have it ready for your business as you launch out. And when you are applying for grants, all these things are very important. This marketing strategy, you, you, there are some things you need to have in place, like your website, your social media links and handles. When they get there, they should see your logo. They should see your brand colors. They should see things that represent your business. So this is one of the ways they can easily identify your business, especially that website. is another investment you must do for your business. Your website is like your house on the internet where you control all the things that happen on the website. If you don't have your own website and you rely on other things that you are not in control of, anything can happen. They can decide to change their rules and regulations, which might not be good with what you are doing. So you want to have something that you are in control of. So your website is important and every other social media uh links that you need to develop because when you are applying for grants they will ask for these things and when you supply them they know that you are ready to win this grant so finally launch your business it's not enough for your idea to just be in your head without taking any action a lot of people have lost grants just because the business is not in existence as you start your business, I want you to go ahead and launch it. Start with what you have. Don't wait for the millions and the billions before you launch out. Start with the minimum viable product that you can build and assess. Just start. Once you start, opportunities will come to meet you along the way. I remember the story of one of my sister. She started a business with just few things that she had and one way or the other she applied for a grant and she won five thousand us dollar and i know it's because her business is in existence that's the reason why she won that grant so don't just sit down and stay there saying everything is just on paper i've i've seen people doing farming on paper they don't have the physical farm and during due diligence, they will come and visit. What will you show them when they come to visit? And most of the time, the grants is very good for people that are already doing a business. They have something to show for it. So start with the little you have. Even if you want to get loan, they want people that are already doing it, not just people at idea level. And if you have idea continue to do research have more knowledge in such a way that that knowledge can compensate for you when you are starting somebody said knowledge is more important than money and it's true because a lot of people have money now because they don't have knowledge of that business they can't start and some people have knowledge but they don't have money can you begin to pitch your idea in such a way that you can assess money to start the business just start with what you have, wherever you are. And in a short time, you begin to build a business. In case and you are you unable to do all that we have advised you to do, we are here for you. We are business planning consultant. We can help you to set up your business. We can help you to register your business with CAC. We can help you to write your business plan for funding. We can help you to design your logos, we can help you to design your website, and quite a lot of things that we can do for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also follow us for further videos and trainings that we do uh, subsequently 
in this series we want to hear your success stories we want to uh, get all that you have been doing in terms of winning grants and all that and we also want you to follow us on all our social media as displayed on the screen we want you to follow us and we believe that you are going to be successful in your business